Hello, hello. Sorry for the slight late start, I had to redo some graphics card drivers. I, I was planning to start like 15 minutes ago, but it wasn't uh, playing ball. So, Hashington thing is out with Arthur and uh, seeing what, what was going on there. A bit annoying. I think, I'm hoping it was just the. There was some slight weirdness with the older drivers for the new card, but. I still think I might have to do a complete, like, expunge of the, uh, of the drivers. Definitely a bit dubious. I think it looks okay though. I've still got that new I've still got the new hardware weirdness. Not picking up my controller. Uh, is there a really good reason why Steam isn't picking up my controller right now? I'm sure it does. Thank you very much, Avaris. Does this look right? Does this look right? Hold on. I'm not, I'm not entirely convinced this looks right. Thank you very much, Avaris. Really appreciate the 33. That is a lot of friggin' months. Hey, Norden. How you doing, dude? This... This is right still, isn't it? Yeah, it's fine. I'm not just fucking imagining things. Sorry. Sorry, just making sure. I was doing this all day in FF yesterday. I just but I just could not get shit to look quite like as I expected to. Cool. Have we got any more skirmishes? We've got to our uh, tap select, tab select, skirmishes. Oh, we do have a new skirmish, actually. Let me catch you up on the current situation. Yeah, do that, man. Hey, forward. I'm glad to hear that, Norton. You found Gravard. Gravard? It's a ghost doggo. Oh, we like doggos. Yeah, yeah, so there's baddies. Shoot them. I love shooting baddies. All right. It's position unit. So we're going to have... Uh, we'll have Alicia over this side and Rosie. We're going to fill out every spot, but maybe Jane. No, do I need double? Probably not. Realistically, probably better have... Maybe another scout here. Maybe Largo on this side if I need some. I'll have Yoko here. I don't know who I need for this mission, actually. We are going to have fucking Ika, though, because is that a girl Ika? Ted can get like, some action, too. Good for you, Ted. And Jane. Perfect. That should be fine. I don't know how many baddies are in this one. I haven't done this one for a while. Let's drive these Imperials back out of Gallia. Squad 7, move out! Here we go. I saw you playing Final Fantasy, uh, Fairy Wolf. Like, I was, when I was looking at my um, Steam a second ago. Son, new character, couldn't get onto Ragnarok. Oh, yeah, just try later. Yeah, like, before you go to bed tonight or whatever, just to try again, you'll get in almost suddenly. Like, it's just, they 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 restrict it at, like, when the server's full. So later on at night, you'll get on. Then you'll then be able to join us. That's probably the best thing to do. This takes me back to your A-Rank Volkyra Chronicles video. It's how I found you back in the day. I still remember you in the first mission going, up. I mean, here's shit in your cornflakes, gentlemen. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much how we roll in this one, too. Can you swap freely? Uh, I mean, it doesn't cost any money to like make a new character on a different server. I don't think. Um, but I don't know if you can move the character freely. Sh shrug. If you're on the same data center, by the way, you can then just you can move data. You can actually just move. Um... Well, actually, actually, it's saying that in Europe you can just move data centers now. I, just, I forgot about that. Yeah. So it, it shouldn't. It doesn't matter as much. Obviously, it's a little bit. You can't be in the guild if you wanted to be in the guild and stuff, unless you're on the main server. But you can't just swap data centers, it's not a particularly big deal. Alright, uh, let's see. I'm going to take Rosie on this first turn and see what the hell we're dealing with. New target sighted. Literally fucking Zippo, apparently. There's a cannon. A lancer. Okay. I actually figured we'd have some bodies here. 
Thanks for the biddies, Nodden. Honestly, I really like this game. I'm not A ranking it as seriously this time around. Right, here I go. Uh, mainly because it's for my own sanity and the lack of save scumming. Some missions we do have to save scum still, like the one. I was nowhere near that, and you fucking know it. Uh, some missions you have to save scum on a little bit. But it's not so bad. Alright. Yeah, get in the bin with you, mate. Why is Ted being shamed? Perfect. We're not shaming Ted, we're just doubting Ted's abilities. Enemy spotted. Well, they're over there, okay. I don't know how many enemies are actually in this. Get ready to intercept, soldiers! Enemy spotted! Ooh! Spicy! Oh god, those are th that's bad, actually. That's that's a bad one. Alright, Ted. Come on, Ted. I got faith in you, dude. I don't actually have faith in Ted. Tighten up perimeter defenses. Can I kill with six? No, we're actually gonna leave. They're after me. Not after you, in particular. Right, I'm gonna quickly go around the corner and there we go. I should. Yeah, Ted. <laughs> nice. Good work, Ted. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Yeah, I mean, VC4 in general is a better game. Whether the story's better depends on personal preference, I suppose. I, I like both, but yeah, VC VC4 is is the better game. Like no Get doubt. Get ready to die, imps. Like they they I mean they had like a decade of like cleaning up, didn't they? You know. But uh, I need to get Jane around. Ooh, I can't quite get her. Get ready to I actually can't remember. Games. I think you, you, I think you can two turn this one for the A rank on skirmish, but I'm not 100. Die, die, die! Jane does not like the zims. Next. Next. Man down. Everybody, be careful. Damn it! They took the camp. All right. So we need one more point to stop. Um, I could get him flat. I'll knock him dead. All right, so Ted's gonna mine. There we go. Hi, I'm Ted. Oh, Ted, you almost fucked that up. Thank you, thank you. All right, Ted. Who forget. are these guys? All right. Watch out for stray bullets. Ooh, found one. Whoa! I think we found a shock trooper behind us then. I'll knock him dead. That's the thing about scouts, is they're sturdy enough. Thank no, this you, is skirmish. This you. is skirmish. I'll just take a skirmish quickly while we're waiting for to get in. Uh, I actually think we can take more two turns. I just need to get the cat, I think. Realistically, you possibly. I actually. I don't. I, I think you physically can't one turn it. I think it's just too far. Rosie can survive. The light tank might try to shoot her though, which might be a bit awkward. Alright, we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. Hey, we're good. VC4? No, this is VC1. Did I put VC4 in the description? Am I being, am I being a bad? And even with a decade of polishing, what polished me was most four, I could sit down and play it and immediately felt like SVC should have remembered one. Yeah, just polished up, yeah. And it looks incredible too. What's quite funny is that 10 years didn't stop, didn't like get rid of the horniness of the character designers. Uh, I actually shouldn't say even a skirmish really, but fuck it. I think just for safety reasons. Alright, I'm gonna do it. This is an order! Up and get ready to defend yourself. The scout DLC weapon. Oh, do you mean uh, well, a broom from Salvaria? I mean that one. I'll knock him dead. All right, Ted. I might need to heal you actually. Enemy found. What we got? Are they both scouts? I could run around the back. 
I'm actually going to use some Rag Aid. Just, uh, just give us a bit of healing room here. And then I'm going to do this. Check out this mad strat, by the way. Damn, my mad strat didn't work. Fuck. Everyone's a critic. Take them out. I don't think I don't know. Ah, no, it's full of. It was a shock trooper on that on the back of the tank. I didn't see the shock trooper. I thought it was a scout. I thought it was a scout. Okay, that's fine. Now I know what I'm looking at. That's fine. Again, it's, it's been a while since I've done this one, so. Right, in that case, we need to do something slightly different then. I'm going to need... I'm going to need Ted at full HP before we go in. Okay, I have a plan. Right, here I go. We can use the lovely Ica, I who's see one. objectively a better tank than Ted is, but... That's fine. Don't hit the bombs, Ica. So what we're going to do is... We'll heal Ted with Ica's turn. Fucking nice. I can just kiss you. Yeah, Ted, Ted's a horn dog. All right. So we will give an order back to Ted for a defense boost. And I'm gonna give this him an evade boost order. as well. I would say evade is the crossfire one. I think. I think evade is crossfire defense as well. I always forget the terminology on it. So we will do an evade boost. This is an order. That's always the fun. That's always the funny thing, actually. You see, when Watch people the play this for the first time, guns. they don't abuse the orders enough in this game. The orders are incredibly strong. They, they the orders, the orders break this game. I'll knock them dead. But honestly, breaking this game can be kind of fun, right? So we need Enemy to. Enemy That's a nasty scout weapon. Someone's got that. Right. Enemy, Enemy found. Oh no. Okay, that's not quite good. Okay. Ha! That's a smidge unfortunate, actually. Please let that break all the boxes. <sighs> okay. okay, that's... And um, we've got two... I've got a crouching one on the end. That's actually a bit of a problem. Okay. I have a new plan. This plan's even better than the last plan. Okay, so, orders. We're going to go with all units evade. This is an order. I want everyone dodging those. This is bullets. only to be fair. This is only if you want to a rank this shit. Like I think, like you don't have to play these missions like this. You can play them like a normal person, not a fucking fruit loop. But it's it's more fun to play as a fruit loop. This is an order. So I need to give a. Defense Race up and get ready to defend yourself. Okay, I probably can't. I might not be able to do what I want to do, actually. Ugh. Not a hundred percent sure I can do what I need to do. I'll we'll knock him dead. I'm actually gonna leave Ted with Enemy myself. Found. This time, like Ooh, found one. The, and the crossfire is gonna protect us here, so. Hi, I'm Ted! Hi, I'm Ted. Found one. Yeah, so we can't actually do what I want to do because I need the grenade. Fuck! To do this, I would actually need to run Ica as well, which I can't right now. Alright, I'm going to do this slightly differently later because I, I have a plan. I have a plan. And I'm going to need an engineer for that. But we'll carry on with the story. I was trying to do that one quite quickly before we got started, but there we go. The gunshots from before came from around here. So remember last the time, the squad may still be in combat close by. Welkin and Alicia got separated from the squad. Hello, Mr. Pepper. So um, Alicia and Welkin got separated from the squad uh, due to carelessness, <laughs> more or less. Semi spoilers. I would say, I would say, are on the side of people might not have seen this game before. Is uh, as always, I think it's the safest bet. Allude to things, but don't outright say it. So, yeah, Woken and Alicia got separated, and we're now trying to meet back up with the squad, after healing her leg. The enemy's base camp is located on the river's south bank, and the force deployed around it is significant. They've also put up quite a defense, including a barrier that only a tank can take down. You and the rest of your squad are separated by the river, north from south. Until you reach the position, they won't be able to use the Edelweiss. You need to get to them as soon as humanly possible, then immediately launch your attack. 
Your objective is to occupy the enemy's base camp. The enemy knows your tank is out of commission. Expect them to come crashing down on you and your squad in the meantime. Until you can do that, you need to take cover behind the sandbags. Keep our camp safe. As a reminder, you want me to issue orders to get back to the eye devices, wireless communication system. Yep. So, we need to position carefully this. So, we've obviously got Alicia. As always, we need Rosie. Rosie can sit at the front, along with uh, Jane. Then we're going to have Largo. We're going to have Carl. Carl's going to be at the back. We're going to take uh, Ica. Do I want anyone else for this mission? Probably not. They're going to come in pretty pretty hot and heavy, so we might want to bring Wendy. I like Wendy. We'll get Wendy at the back. Right, I'm going to deploy on that one, probably. First, we've got to meet back up with the squad. Ready to go, Alicia? Yes, exactly, exactly that, Nolden. Use, use the, use the um, basically like firepower up on Rosie for three points on this. I haven't got it yet. I don't think Alicia, you can get it later in the how's game, that but... ankle doing? Just fine. I'm a-okay here. She's a-okay. I saw some black smoke in the distance. That could be the other sevens. Who do you reckon's cooler for those who play both games? Squad seven or squad eight? But black smoke would mean... They could be engaging the enemy. I actually... You know, I love squad seven. I really do. But I think because the squad E gets fleshed out more, I think I like them more overall. Right. There could be enemies near us, too. Let's get back to the others ASAP. Classy. Why are you going to be like this, Leogon? Why are you going to be like this? Isn't VC2 the one with the titty monster with the pink hair? Alright, so what we got? We've got Welkin. So we need to get... I'm trying to think where we actually need to get to here. I've completely forgotten how to get across. You go down the bank, up the side, and in, I think. Like that. But fuck if I can remember. So we're going to make a save here. We'll make a save here. Alright, Alicia Listen, first. Okay? Alicia, study up. So there's the bridge. So we got a snoofer. Snoofer's Don't fine. Let them near the camp. How does the other side look? Alright. Godspeed, Froggy. Hmm. I got faith in you. I'm impressed, but not surprised. I'm impressed, but not surprised. Right. Enemy unit spotted. So we've got the anti-tank cannon there. Move loads carefully. of bullets. So See any hostile units? Enemy sighted. I'm too cold to move. Park Alicia here. Let's have a look. What are we looking at here? Fine. So ready to go. I take Welks now. I actually probably could have leveled them up a little bit before this mission. <laughs> Fucking hell, Welkin! Oh, nice, actually, that propelled us forward. Good job, Wilkin. That's speedrun strats right there. Get additional movement because you hit mine. Yes! Yes! Man down, everybody be careful. Yeah, jumping on mine is totally planned. Exactly. It's not that bad. You're fine, Wilkin. Mm -hmm. If you stand on another mine, though, that Move carefully. might be a problem. See any hostile units? He's practicing rocket jumping, exactly, Donna, exactly. There we go. We're going to leave Alicia all by herself over there for now. I'm going to use multiple times to get Welkin all the way back to the base. Which should, should be okay. Oh, not quite, not quite. It's sad. I like the gameplay of VC2. I, I didn't like the tone of it. Uh, I'm not sure if it's worth actually using Welkin another turn here. It might be. Here we go. So. so I'm going to have to save some points for Alicia. Here we go. I 
I can never remember in my run if I really go. lose one or two. There we go. We're back, everybody. I could have probably done it in one Sorry less. Sorry to worry you. Wilkes! Oh, good! Are you hurt at all? No, we're fine. What's your status here? We were unable to break through the enemy line without you to lead the Edelweiss. Now that you're back, we'll launch a tank offensive on your command. Yeah, fuck him up. All right, good. Squad 7, commence the attack. Agreed. Right, so that's a bit sad. I probably could have done it in one less, but... Alright. I don't know if they're actually going to see Alicia from there and move. It's possible. It doesn't matter too much, but... Moving out. Let's see what we can do. There's a few things we can do here. We can blow this ass up. Please hit. There we go. So I'm trying to think where I want a sticker. I don't want her in sniper range either. They can come around that side and around Don't let them near the camp. I think realistically they're probably gonna. We'll see how this goes. I might have to redo this, but I think I'll park it for here for now. It's mostly so we don't get some sniper line of fire, but... The other option is spending an extra turn doing this. Under minor fire. But the nice thing about this, they tend to focus the idle device in the first turn, which is quite good. Because no one gives a shit about the idle device and it can take tank shots to the fucking cows come home. Oof, that's the problem. That's the other thing I think I might need to do slightly differently. I might need to spend two points to get Rosie and Sandbags. Soon. Now, the shock trooper is going to get the slightly too close. He's going to stop. Yep. We line we line them up as we do because the idea is they get a bit too close, they get shot, and they either shoot or they don't. There we go. What we yeah, don't want to happen, we don't want him to miss and hit Jane. <laughs> as long as he hits the other device, we'll be fine. Under minor fire. The other worry, of course, is um, what they're going to do up north. They might not bother. Ah, that's not too bad, actually. Here I come. Rosie can survive that. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. It doesn't matter too much if Jane goes down, because I can rescue her. We just need to survive this initial one. Underminer fire. Yeah, the front armor of the idle device is really heavy, which is nice. And then guess how we're gonna do this? We're gonna use scouts! Woo! Scouts! <laughs> oh shit! Jane took one to the forehead! Oh shit! That was that is not ideal. Jane took one to the noggin. Oh no. That is, uh. I mean, it could be worse. But, you know. Alright, fine. So, what we got here. The, the wall is over here somewhere. It's this wall, I presume. Or is it it's this wall, I guess? Yeah. So, how do I want to do this? Let's just do this for I used slightly too many movement points last turn. I think I wasted one, but. But it's okay. Right then, we want to... I'm going to need to get... I'm going to have to take Rosie, probably, on a, on a murder spree. This is in order! The housing Research, of the battery's cracked. Oh yourself. shit. Glad you checked that. Yeah, that's not ideal. How badly cracked is it? Come on! Ain't no stopping me! Alright, can I line up a couple of them? Enemy sighted! I might. Here I come! Nice. Huh. 
That might actually not be worth it. The other option is defense Largo and get him to go around the back. That's another option available to us. Just watch this. Let's see how far I can get Largo. Is the Joker still alright? Because he should. Yeah, Largo's gonna need a defense up then. So yeah, okay. That's fine, I was just all testing. So I need what I need to do then is get Largo's fine where he is. I probably need to position him slightly further up, but. What I'm going to have to do then is defense at Largo and get him around the back, I think. That's probably going to be the realistic option here. Send me a picture. Okay. Have a look. Uh, sorry, two seconds. Ooh, oi! Woo! Woo lad, as they say. Fucking hell. That is not a small crack, is it? Right. Yeah, you need to get that sorted. Yeah, that's that's bad. This is an order. Brace up and get ready to defend yourself. Might be worth looking into what options you've got for replacement stuff perhaps just watch this all right enemy sighted lago doesn't give a fuck lago doesn't no no oh wait no we're fine we're fine i thought i thought we'd run out of uh, i thought we couldn't get past no we just we just ran out of movement it's fine it's fine panic over I'm really glad you checked now for you, that's uh, because the things you described to me earlier were really working. Right Later's fuck bags. Woo! Yeah. Alright! This is definitely the space yeah. of this. Absolutely. Can I get to that engine? That's the question. Just watch this. Oh, I reckon so. Woo, lad. Yeah. Lol. All right. Just keep up this pace. All right. So we're gonna do it this turn. Here we go. Right, I'm gonna have to run Jane over. Sorry, Jane. Beep beep. Medic! <laughs> she needs a medic now, at the very least. Stay with us. It won't be long now. Please, do what you can. Rescue Jane. I just ran her over the tank. Meep meep. An awfully cold morning. Oh, so many potential victims here. So little time. Can you break through the front line? I forget, do we, have to, do we have to bomb this, or do we... Fuck, I completely forgot how you're supposed to do this one. Uh, fuck. Fire! Not that, apparently. Do you have to run it over with the idle vice? I literally have no idea. I don't know. Don't you need to interact with it? Maybe you have to interact with it with um, idle mode. I'm not quite sure. Not anything catching the cat. You have to. They had to have the tank back. I literally can't remember. Let's do this thing. We'll find it, we'll find out. Huh. It might be we have to get the idle vice closer. 
There's what I know. There's one of the missions you actually you actually have to use the eye device, and it might be this one. <laughs> he has a defensive up, you fools! Ah! Logan might might be in trouble. That's not gonna help you. Damage minimal. A lot of these enemies are gonna get a bit freaked because the um, minor damage sustained because the uh, eye device is so close and it will shoot them. Nice. I think Lager will probably eat shit, but I don't do that too much. Minor damage sustained. Do you see that little matey there trying to shoot my tank? Under minor fire. I too be freaked out about a tank in front of me. Yeah, it's just fair enough. They can't actually get behind me. Damage minimal. They can't actually get behind me because of it. Snoof is gonna shoot Ayaka, that's fine. Okay, cool. Where's that gun this time? Second pop, which is worthless. Right. It's from turn three. Man, I really don't have that many command points. I feel like I'm missing some command points for some reason. Did I not summon somebody? No, I got it wrong. Alright, right then. Let's test this now, if I need to get the eye device all the way up. I might need to repair the eye device if I can't do it this turn as well. That's a good option. Major damage sustained. Alright. Out of the way, fuckers! Cool. Remember to stay cool. Yeah, there we go. Required, required percussion for... Right then. Right, which one of you fuckers all need dying? Oh, that's a lot of you bastards right there. Now! Is everyone ready for some scummery? I love scummery! Me too! Let's fucking go! This is an order! Up and get ready to defend yourself. How many units are there? No problem, boss. Probably too many. We'll try it. The other nice thing is a little min-maxing thing you can do. If you get them to move over I the sandbags. There is no look. Damn it, Ica! You're a pirate. Why are you loading the flowers? Now, can I? They did attack down. I might not be able to kill them. What I can do instead, though, is if I blow them out of the camp, that might be a bit too close. Is that far enough? That might be far enough. If not, I can shoot them. I got enough points. Right here, I go. I can shoot them. Oh, Ica, you're such a babe. This is the way you're supposed to do the mission. Right, here I go. Leaving all the enemies alive and just running trick through. Bang, bang, baby. Bang, bang, baby. Ica MVP as always. Perfect. Oh shit, they got the fucking base. Run away. I think that's... I, you might have to do it in two turns. Operation complete. I might have we took their base. I think three turns is realistic, actually. I, yeah, three turns is fine. Oh, look at that delicious A rank. <sighs> delicious. Lieutenant Gunther reporting for duty. We really missed you, boss. Lieutenant, that is. Isara, aren't you going to welcome your brother back home? 
You was worried about him, weren't you? No. Oh. That was a long hell holding session, because you know it's because they're you know, there's obviously something going on. Welcome back. No one holds Fox. hands that long and there's no like bumming and you're all right. Thanks. So am I. Oh. Largo? And Rosie? Don't thank Rosie, she didn't do anything for you. Thank you for looking for my brother. I'm in your debt. <laughs> Having some dark hair thank me. Well, it's weird. Good to see him in one piece, though. You gotta admit that, right? Yeah, after the tank mission, these ones are... Hey, Kingly. Yeah, I did. But I feel like I got to know you. And when you said that Squad 7 was like your second family, it made me feel... I felt really happy. Yay! So... Thanks for that, Welkin. It's Commander Gunther. <laughs> He's just like, yeah, whatever. Oh. Chapter 9. A Midsummer Incident. Oh shit, I don't think I actually have the thing I need for this mission. Uh, I might not have the thing I need for this. Let's see. Where am I going? Tab select. Okay, of course. Most of all, just extremely violent game to capture the flag, I know. I get, they had like one thing that sort of really worked, didn't it? I can't remember if it's from this guy or not. Hey, Bumgren. T who's Tommy Oliver? Hello again, son. Oh, you, oh, you mean um, yesterday? You mean um, the White Ranger? Yeah. It's tragic. I'll teach you. Retreat today. I don't want retreat. Re I think I have to have a retreat just to get rid of it. Uh, no, for now. I'm trying to remember which one has the firepower increase. It might be the Lancers. I'm trying to remember. Scouts can go to 11. Let's try that one. Jason David Frank, yeah. Yeah, it's really tragic. Really Good tragic. Work. Nice. That's really big. That would have been... I should have done that before the last mission. That would have made last mission much easier. Wah, wah. Congratulations, Scouts! As of today, you are elite! That means clearance for rifle grenades! This changes everything, by the way. Rifle grenades are incredible. Okay, you've earned clearance for a new order. Put it to good use out there. Damage boost. Oh, I got it. This order raises one ally's anti-tank per... Ugh! Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. That's what I needed. That's what I needed. Looks like that. Okay, so what we need now is... Engin engineers aren't as important and stuff yet. And because we're getting so much more XP, if we focus it into these initial classes first anyway, it make life a bit easier. So I want these guys to get one of those now. Is that what we're rushing to, essentially? Yeah. Okay. Demolition boost. Oh, that's the other one I wanted. Yes. Okay, we're good. We're good. Come back. I was really hoping that was it. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna go to the wall cemetery now and get retreat because I need to. You need to get all of the orders from this dude, I think, pretty much. So we're just gonna grab it. Hello again, son. I will happily take retreat. This actually ends up being a actual skill in VC4. Very good. Hey, we go. Man, I fucking love Power Rangers. I mean, who didn't, right? From my age. I loved Power Rangers as a kid. I loved the Green Ranger and the White Ranger because he had the cool tiger thing and the green one had the dragon and it had the little dragon thing and he got the little flute out for. Oh, man. Really, really bummed me out here, honestly. Let's see if Vice is showing up yet. Hello, Will. No Vice? Oh, come on, man. Onadine's cool, but no Vice. Come. Right, uh, R&D facility. We probably need to buy some more stuff. Oh, excuse me. Well, 
Right. We probably can get some more stuff here now, I think. Yeah, here we go. Accuracy, firepower, or uh, added effect. I actually don't like the added effect ones for the most part. Firepower is good. Firepower is good, but I, I overall find that the accuracy is is just incredibly useful. Like you still you still get the damage increase, but it, I find the accuracy is the best. Generally, I find it more consistent. But you know. Cool. And then. And then, again, accuracy is super important for the snoofers. Actually makes the snoofers a bit more useful. No grenades yet. No... Oh, we've got a uniform upgrade. Nice. I was disappointed with the balance of the game. I was you can mostly cheese it with scouts. You can. I, th I don't think... I think a lot of people don't do that. I don't think a lot of people do that on their first their first playthrough, you know. Unless you kind of know which scouts as well have the, the potentials and a few other bits, you probably wouldn't end up doing it. But. Uh, I don't want any of this. Come back again soon. I actually put my headshots on target. Exactly, yeah, exactly. That's my thoughts. Uh, is there anything in Castle Front Street I can buy? Is there any extra missions we can get? Hey. Oh, and how about the new rising star of Squad 7, huh? I've heard some wild stories. You must be proud. I couldn't help but snipe him with a pop interview. You'll have to read it once I get it all drafted up. Uh, these are new ones, and then... That's that and then we want to get... That's it. Uh, Taste of Home. That's... Welcome, Leash and Lago. So these are the... So we want to buy these. I think we get the side quest for them. Then. There we go. Come back and see the writing on the wall again soon. Yeah, the the the, 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 the VC4 does a lot better with um, a lot of the superfluous stuff, honestly, like the extra stuff. So we've actually got some more. Uh, here we go. We got Elit in bed. I don't even remember what this one is. It might just be the story one. Uh, Largo's passion and takes home gets uh, each of those people an extra stuff. I don't think we want to do it. I don't think we need to do it yet. And the longer we leave it, the easier it gets. So we will be doing that. Right. I got the things I needed for this mission, so I'm, I'm happy. Oh, we probably could do the skirmish before we do this as well. Maybe we could actually do. Oh, we should totally do the skirmish. You can see the new scouts in action. Welcome, you see the elite scouts. Captain. Oh, delicious. We probably that plan I wanted to do. We can probably do it now. I have tried Re Resident Evil Versus hey, thing. No, welcome. I haven't actually. Any good? You got called in too, Faldio? I apologize for calling the two of you in on an off-duty day. Princess Cordelia has graciously extended banquet invitations to the three of us. Delicious. What? But why us? Oh, the Grenadier class in VC4 is amazing. What's her face, Riley? Oh, brilliant. It seems you two will be recognized for your successes at Vassal and more recent ops. The event will be held tomorrow, at the castle. Oh. I'm not really good with the formal stuff. You and me too, Wilkin. What are you, crazy? Do you have any clue how rare a chance to meet the princess is? Fucking Travis Touchdown just wants to meet the princess. Pervert. They say that House Rangree... This is PC. There's a PC port of this, Colin. ...are descended from the Valkyra. This is the PC version. If that's true, Princess Cordelia herself is a Valkyria. And we get an audience with her. Well, yeah, I guess. Downward fucking Just dog. Just don't forget to wear dress uniforms, gentlemen. <laughs> I'll meet you so both shame there's only two No More Heroes games. Evening. Man. You're really would have loved the third one. one. That'd have been cool. Never mind, eh? Yeah. So much for my plans to go bird watching tomorrow. No such luck, mate. Actually, I think we should do the, uh, let's do the skirmish for this one, then. Oops, hold on. Captain Carrot. That's kind of cool. Let me catch you up on the current situation. One, two, and Travis Strokes. Oh, yeah, that's a fair point. Yeah, that's all right. All right, so, 
let's try this again. This time we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to take uh, Alicia, Ica. Uh, I might take... Carl wouldn't be able to make it, I don't think. If I take three scouts and just rush north, we can probably do it. Let's get the ladies up here. You know what, Carl? You can hang out with the ladies. That's fine. Rosie, you can chill here. Largo. Marina, just to get deployed now and again. Ah, uh, Ramona can sit back here. That's fine. Alright, let's try that. You're... Right, we now got the elite scouts. Let's drive these Imperials back out of Gallia. Squad 7, move out! Do you see why having the elite scouts is so nice? Also, we've now got the firepower boost. Lal. We can, we can now break the game. We can absolutely break it. Not that we weren't breaking it before, but we can now break it even harder. Moving out. So we've now, as you probably noticed, got a shitload bigger bar. We've also got a Ran Greaser. Mark 2. We got a fucking grenade launcher, baby! Yes! Oh yeah. This thing is fucking evil, and we're going to be absolutely abusing the shit out of it. We're going from breaking to disintegrating in the game, yeah, true. Look how, look how much... Look at the movement we've got now, by the Enemy way. Unit spotted. Now you can fuck Please off. Focus on making careful decisions. Enemy unit spotted. Also, ac much more accurate rifle. Tends to go where we point it. Which is super important for getting disgusting, dirty headshots off like that. Hmm. Agreed. Alright, Ollie, catch that, dude. Alright, let's see. Freezer, I've been had you out for a bit. I'm ready to go. We love you, Freezer. Freezer's cute. Let's go. The shock troopers end with the flamethrowers are incredible as well, actually. How are the enemy's numbers? That's a nasty fucking rifle that dude has. Status report, soldiers. That's fine. That's why I've got Freezer here to <laughs> take shots. How long do orders Next last? Partner. To the end of the turn. Enemy unit neutralized. Cool, so we got these two. Uh, what we're gonna do now is grab no Ike. No problem, boss. No problem, boss. Ike is waiting for our man to show up. He is not showing up yet. Don't let up on the offense. It's over. Sorted. Yeah, in the, fir in the first game, the tanks are useless, Perfect. mostly. You don't Man, use the tanks on, for anything other than body blocking. They're really good for body blocking. Just getting warmed up. Oh, yeah. Elite, elite thing. Yes. Yeah, we start to unlock some of the really fucking great potential now. Please keep the enemy's position. Uh, there we go. We love Ica. All right. Carl's going to sit back there like Billy No Mates. And then what we're going to do here, we're going to need extra points, so what we're going to do is, who's got the most health? Ica. No problem, boss. We're going to take Ica around here. We're going to expunge the gentleman. On our second go now, we've almost got as much movement as we had originally on our first go. Like that, that's how fucking good our stuff is now. Bang, bang, baby. Bang, bang, baby. Some of the Berlia orders are like three points, by the way. They're fucking nutty. Because what we're going to do, we're going to lay the groundwork for this. We're going to basically bring a scout, a scout here-ish. Grenade into the boxes here, using our new grenade launchers. And then move around the back. That's going to be the plan. So we're going to just get them all ready to go. Uh, so we're going to move our scoots. Moving out. The one that lets you destroy a tank, like tanks really easily for three points, is absolutely disgusting, by the way. It basically, Lance has become <laughs> worthless at that point. Can't beat the smell of fresh soil. We shouldn't need any healing, but for the sake of argument, I'm gonna heal. Later on, Alicia doesn't need healing anyway, so Alicia Alicia basically becomes That was an interesting graphical effect. Alicia becomes unnecessary to heal, so because of her perk she gets. Uh, I'll be freezer around. I'll be freezer. Can't freezer. Hey, swing boat. Engineers are actually surprisingly decent, yeah. Oops. Damn, I... It's fine. Oh, 
fine. Don't worry about it. She's alright. She's just sleeping. She's just sleeping. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Do you know what I'm gonna do? Understood. I'm actually gonna use a sniper for a change. Distracted. Fuck's sake! Stop sneezing! <laughs> and this is why we don't use snipers. We've now demonstrated this exact reason. She just tranked, exactly. This game does have permadeath. This game does have permadeath. If you don't rescue your troops, they, they die permanently. Yeah, sniper, you, there's a couple of missions I think it's actually worth worth putting snipers in. Most of them isn't it. Alright, so we saved a couple of points for an order, which we're going to do now. I'm actually going to save this though, because this could get a bit messy. Save this one. Oh! That's what we want, but we're not doing that right now. I could actually do it to show you. You could even use fucking scouts to do that technically later. If we get the right gun, we can use. You can basically have a scout take out a tank, which is very funny. All right, so we want a defense boost. Oh, we want, first of all, all you have This is an order. I want Kai is incredible. Kai is incredible. Kai helps because Kai is. You always deploy Kai because of the um, command point as well. Nice. Also, if you want to give the, uh, like a free command point to whatever troop you want, is great addition to your favorites and get like stuff. Right, so what we want is Ica. Right, here I go. Trying to get shrek if we can. I see one. Uh, hold on. Medic! Medic! Doctor! Please stay strong. I'm on my way. Alright. Don't make this hard on yourself. If we're lucky. That should. Oh! Oh! The fucking grenade launcher is so sick. I love it so much. Bang, bang, baby. Look at this. Fucking nice. I actually really like games where, you know, the XP makes a note. Like, if you level up a, like, if you actually, um, well, sorry, if you level up a class or whatever, it makes a, a substantial up, difference. Reminds me of one the, uh, the first XCOM game, not XCOM 2, like XCOM Enemy Within or whatever. You level up the snipers in that game, and they get the ability to move and shoot every single turn. They just turn to absolute ass fuckers every turn. My turn okay. And it feels really satisfying. You're like, yes, I did this. Then you give them springy legs, and they can jump up a building Enemy and turn invisible. Enemy Don't unit give a spotted. fuck, mate! We out. Ready and waiting for your command. Enemy unit spotted. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's bad. Okay, they they have they have done tactics. That's gonna make this a bit difficult. Okay. Uh, all right, that's fine. Please hit. That's fine. It's not fine. It's not fine at all. Hmm. That's actually fine. But Who are these guys? the rest of it's not so fine. Is that shock true? It's a scout. Maybe we could shoot him to death. Do I have a I just used my grenade on that one. Uh, if, I, if I had Freeza still, he'd be fine. Uh, uh, okay. Moving out. Enemy sighted. We can do this. It's just going to be really fucking lame. Attack up order, possibly? Could cut, cut it down by a turn or two? How many points have I got? Yeah. Yes! This is an order! This is an order! Kill this prick! Attack with everything you've got! The power of friendship into your gun! Now shoot the cunt! Yay! Yeah. Hmm. Can't beat the smell of fresh soil! That actually did cut it down by a turn. And we don't need to kill these guys, so. Now! Loud. 
Using Tic Tacs, exactly. Operation complete. Yep, the enemies don't know what to do now. They're dead. But... <laughs> GG, easy. Then this one is... Which one's this? This one's probably also another GG, easy. Should we do this one as well? Fuck it. Why not? I'm trying to remember which one Keep this is. This is the desert map. Which one is it? It's this one. Okay. So we start here and the base is... I think it's almost identical to the original map, actually. Probably a two-turn job here. Alright, Ica. Up, up the front you go. Along with Frieza, because Frieza likes the desert. Rosie can go here. Margo goes here. Carl, you go there. Probably don't need anyone else. Might have a backup scoot in case I need to scoot. Oh, actually, have I got. Oh no, Ramona can backup scoot. Okay. If there are no questions, let. No silver on this one, anyway. This is the Let's other map. Let's drive these Imperials back out of Gallia. Squad 7, move out! A little bomb. It's um, their, their binoculars. The little scouting binoculars. Alright. So we can make this in two turns, I think. Yeah, same, same mod, same mod. Right, so we're going to have to do... I don't know if we actually need to bother doing a um, defensive boost on this one. But let's see. Okay. What you can do is actually use your snoofer. Because you start with the snoofer up here, and you can do... Um, nanny the fuck. You can fucking knock that off. Good night. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams, Just keep it up. So you can park your your uh, snoofer here if you want, and snoofer some people. My turn, okay? Enemy sighted. Right. Enemy sighted. But now because we've got Enemy more movement speed, we just go low. Try to act as soon as you start a target. Shock trooper, you say? Oh, go on. And this is why we take the accuracy up because a scout can dome a shock trooper very, very easily at distance. Ah, oh, Alicia, is there anything you can't do? All right, so we've got two snoofers, which don't really matter. Uh, this right the second. Shock trooper, shock trooper, none of that matters. Uh, I might park Rosie in front if I really want to. I'm say, can we do it in one turn? Probably not, actually. It's probably too far for one turn. My turn, okay? Scouts go burr. Sure. Enemy unit spotted. We call this the yoink. I have to wait where the tanks are there, yeah. Enemy unit spotted! I know you're back there. Get out here. We potentially could actually do this in one turn, I think. At least get to the hole in one turn. I'm gonna test something. I don't think I can because I it takes too it will take too many points to get there, I think, but Coming out. let's try it. Yeah. I don't think this will kill him. I don't think we've got the I don't think we've got enough grenade. No, I've got enough grenade juice. If he shoots back. Nah, we can't. We can't make that. We can't make that. This can't be good. Yeah. But the chance of Alicia getting shot at least once is extremely high. I think. Yeah, enemy aces drop loot. But. Uh, okay. I'm actually not going to do that, so I'm going to reload a second. It's funny. You could, I could ragnade her, but I think she'll get shot. I think she'll just she get murdered out there. So instead, I'm going to do something Moving silly. Out. I'm going to 
expunge some more fuckers. There we go. Right. So where am I going to park her to avoid getting snoofed? How does it look out there? I didn't get on. I didn't get on at all with Dark Tide. Hunt so. begins. Snoofer. <laughs> Donk. Sweet dreams. Nice work. Right. Keep taking them down. I'm gonna move. Move her out of the line of sight. There we go. What else can we do? We don't need. We don't need all the points for next turn. So we're gonna do some. We're gonna cause a bit of a ruckus. Who wants to cause a ruckus? Ica. Right, Ica's the kind of girl that calls a ruckus. Right, because we got the crazy fucking super scoots now. Any one of these twats that isn't. Bang, bang, baby. Nice one, Ica. Any one of these twats that isn't crouched Perfect. is gonna get absolutely shrapped. Any one of these twats that is scout the is. Uh... Wait, that one's dead. Requesting backup. So there's a shock trooper there, a lancer. That's what we can do. We can do some silly stuff here. Rest easy, Ma. I'm coming. <laughs> God damn it, Iker! You were I was nowhere fucking near that! Alright, well. No problem, boss. These mines are very mining. Alright, so we'll just kill this guy. Perfect! Perfect. Target silenced. The that's one. another that's another scoot. So what we'll do, we'll I don't like their attitude. White Knight Chronicles. I own White Knight on PS3. I don't think I ever played it properly. I remember the second game had um it came with like the first game for free or something. Nice. Perfect! Perfect. Who are these guys? Target sighted. Now we take it out. There we go. No Ica. Try again. <laughs> Another mug by Stars. Thank you, Sage. Thank you very much. That's extremely kind of you. Uh, should we use Freezer to expunge a few more noobs? I thought we probably should. Watch me dance. Oh, this one's crouched. Damn. Agreed. Yeah, we don't have quite the grenade prowess yet. Which is a bit of a nuisance. We might get away with this. Just, I might have left this a bit. Too. Watch me dance. I got 77. That should be okay. If I quickly. It's just so much yeah. responsibility. Grr. Next partner. Man down. Everybody, be careful. Keep an eye on your equipment. Alright. Right. I need to get a drink. I pray that nothing horrible happens. You'll be. Not cherry beppers, sadly. Just regular beppers. Or beppers max in this case. Damage minimal. You couldn't get the battery out, but you got the battery cable out. Is the battery like stuck in? Put that sniper's desk we're trying to find on a snoof. Joke's on you, sniper! I position myself carefully. Minor damage sustained. Sniper's like, I must shoot Alicia. I must shoot Alicia. But I cannot see Alicia. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, that was unlucky. 
Ooh, 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 that could have gone bad. I see. Help me. The chance of them actually hitting that was pretty low. That's uh, that's kind of annoying. Ugh, okay, fine. This is an order. I want everyone dodging those bullets. <laughs> that's kind of scuffing my plan, this image. All right, fine. I'm gonna have to do some shenanigans here and hope this works. So, uh, I got, I got enough points to get across. It's whether I've got enough Brace points. No, I got enough to, to do what yourself. I need to do. Right. Right, here I go. Okay. Enemy spotted. That was rude. Push forward. I see one. I should Enemy have enough spotted. to get across. Medic! Oh, with that that guy's crabbing in the boot thing though, isn't he? Yeah, seriously not. We got really unlucky there, I think. Alright. I see one! There's a guy there. I'm probably better off going straight. Directly straight as possible. Lancers, keep an eye on your ammo. Okay. There's only one guy in the base. This could work. Rook, here I go. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do safety strats. I'm gonna do safety strats. Alright, this will work. I just need to hop across now. Okay. Right, here I go. We're just getting warmed up. Damn right. Right, I'm gonna put it here. Over. It should blast him out. That's the plan. It did not blast him out. That's really irritating. Okay. Alright. I had to improvise, but that's half the fun of this game, is when your best laid plans go to complete shit. We're just getting warmed up. That wouldn't have been suicide for Ica. Ica's too hardcore for that kind of shit. Ica's literally been at like the bottom of the sea. Like she can the sky sea. Like she can survive like pressures no man can survive. A little grenade for the Ica? I don't think so. Operation complete. We took their base. Good work. Yeah, GG easy. Fuck now. <laughs> she had the correct moonstone active, exactly. She she'd been off like a, a five month uh, trip with the blue sky pirates from the blue from the blue moon area. She can survive the high pressures and the low pressures. She'll be fine. Alright, cool. So we'll go to uh, chapter select. Here we go. Alright, time to watch uh, watch all the, the lads get their uh, snazzy dress on. I hope they don't mess this up. Captain Varro actually looks quite nice. She dress, scrubs Sorry to keep you, Captain. Oh god, the old... Goodness, Welkin, I hardly recognized you. Yeah, he scrubs up right away. Yes, Captain. Alicia helped me get ready this evening. She kept punching me when I told her she couldn't come with me. I'm still sore. Welkin, that's not okay. You need to tell someone about that. <laughs> well, consider it combat experience. Folio is just a suave motherfucker. Wow, Welkin. No grass stains or anything. I can't believe you took Very two tanks and shells in the face. Like, nice that's hat, just so unlucky. Way. I can't believe it. Like, do you know how hard it is to hit a tank shell, like, really close in this game? To hit, to get sniped directly in the face by two separate tank shots is just incredibly unlikely. Yeah, I never did like the look of these ugly things. I've been boycotting them. Hey, don't you all look nice. Good evening, Miss Ellet. Here to cover the banquet tonight? You know it. Apparently, an ambassador from the Federation's been invited to the party. So the Federation are who you play as in VC4, by the way, for context. 
I smell a plan to sign up an alliance between Gallia and the Federation at work here. But Gallia's national policy has always been to shun alliances and remain neutral. I figure it's mostly the idea of Prime Minister Borg, <laughs> Princess Cordelia's Borg. regent. By the way, he's using her youth as carte blanche to do whatever he and the other nobles You should want. look at Borg in a minute, by the way. When you see Prime Minister Borg, look at him and you tell me if you think he's a bad guy or not, okay? I'm not going to say anything else, but you just tell me what you think. With all due respect, the princess isn't much more than a mouthpiece for his policies now. Ugh. We're about to attend a banquet, and now I've gone and lost my appetite. You're playing Spot the Antagonist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're playing Spot the Grippler. It's about time to enter. Let's go. I never thought you'd ask, Captain. Oof. Your Highness, thank you for your <laughs> presence on this occasion. Might you grace this assemblage with a word? That's Borg on the left. Honored ladies and gentlemen, if I may, I appear before you today at the peak of joy. For now, two great powers join together. Galia and the Federation pledge their allegiance as we seek to build together an eternal peace for Europa. Know this. The honor of dear Galia, in fact her very freedom, is currently under attack and hangs by the thinnest thread you can imagine. The weird bat here thing is weird, isn't it? Yeah. While Princess Cordelia remains on the throne, she who is the scion of the Valkyra's ancient blood promise, no force on this earth will ever see this nation defeated. Is that not so, Princess? Yes. I draw strength from the Valkyrian bloodline, and my heart is a repository of justice. Is that really his hair or fancy collar? I think that's supposed to be his hair. Just, you know, very... I am nearly at a loss for words. The privilege of brokering peace with you, your highness, has been the greatest honor of my life, and I thank you for it. That bulks over the long hair and the mustache. Night, and your strategic position between East and West, you've become the foundation of Europa. In this time of peril, the foundation is grateful and happily joins hands in crushing the Imperial threat before us. <laughs> they just want to be sure they're the ones who control us when this is over. Make no mistake, the Federation would conquer Europa the same as the Empire. This is stupid. It is hard to accept what he's saying. As long as we fight as one, the Empire's forces will So the Federation never be a is danger. basically America, France, Britain. We shall topple the Empire. Take, like in terms of and like, rid the world of their threat. Are. And in then we shall unify Europa and govern under our great banners. Hey, thank you for the raid, Kiko. How was the Gunjuan? All of Europa. Well, there's something we haven't heard before. Fancy NATO. Yeah, more or less, actually. Yeah. We're not fighting this war so we can invade another country. Absolutely. All we want is to keep our homes and our families safe. I would say VC4 retcons now, my the Federation friend, let us put an end to all these formalities and raise a glass to honor this historic Maybe not retcons, life. gives you yes, more information about the situation. For the shining future that awaits. Cheers. Cheers. The Empire is more like... No, the, the Moustache Man is Galia. Where are you going? And the Federation is the guy with the, uh, the, I've got the, a bad the white hair in the wig. Mouth. This is garbage. I'm out of here. I'm going home, Welkin. See ya. Is he allowed to do that? Faldio. Gun was hard. You had an adorable drunk friend. Oh, nice. Did you complete the run? So the, the Empire is Russia slash Nazi Germany, basically. Oh, hello, Moosh. You're up, Huh. I'm glad that's over. We should be heading back soon. I believe the exit was this way. Oh! Did you just bump into the princess? That's illegal. Princess Cordelia! I... I'm so terribly sorry. Are you alright, your highness? Are you... is that... is that treason? He allowed... he allowed to bump into the princess. I am unharmed. 
I cannot begin to apologize. Please forgive my clumsiness. This is the escort mission one. Yeah, sort of. Yeah. Do not trouble yourself. I bid you a safe return and a good night. <sighs> Your Highness, are you really in support of an alliance with the Federation? You can't ask that, Woken. You get thrown in jail. Lieutenant Gunther, have you lost your mind? Literally. Like, Woken, you're lucky you've got plot armor, dude. Please forgive me. I'm aware that what I'm saying may be out of line. But I... Seeing you tonight, I got the feeling that your opinion is being ignored. I am still young. All political matters are handled by my regent, Borg. Fucking Borg. The protection of Galia and of the Valkyrian bloodline is my fated onus. Your fated anus? Awkward. Their protection does not require my personal feelings. I need only live by the laws set forth by those who come before me. I bid you once more, good night. Yeah, extremely lucky he didn't get thrown in jail. Your though. Highness. This is where Varrett, like, gives him a dead arm. You fucking moron. Do you copy? Bonk. It's me. The mark is alone. Now is our chance. You know the plan. Have the armored car on standby. Armored, you Once say? I have the mark, I'll An armored there. car? Ooh, how unfortunate for you. <laughs> what a tragedy if you had an armored car. Well, oh, I'll no. leave you here. Good night, Wilkin. <laughs> Good night, Captain. <laughs> Wait! Hold it, Varad! Oh god, it's Jack from Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Hi, Jack from Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. What can I do for you? Varad, terrible news. Yeah, 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 rat sucker. General Damon, what's the problem? No, his name's Jack. Jesus. All right, cheers, Kiko. Catch in a bit. So, yeah, yeah, it's John DiMaggio. Yeah, or John DiMaggio. Yeah, Bender, J uh, Jack from Vampire... Ben, uh, who else does he play? Marcus Phoenix, uh, in Gears of War, I think. Oh, also, this guy. Princess Cordelia's been kidnapped! Kidnapped? It can't be! Princess napped, I think. Yes! Reginapped? that Federation Reginapped? ambassador. He was a spy all along. Oh my god. So the Federation takes her under their protection, and Galia along with her. Typical, Wait, he was Greg in Final Fantasy XII. That's amazing. Extortion they've used till now. Oh, yeah, he's Wacker from Ten as well. I forgot he was Wacker. Yeah. So get on it, Verat. You've got to get her back. Understood. Lieutenant, gather your squad immediately. Yes, Captain. You have to forgive the little weird animation blips in these cutscenes. It doesn't like running at like quadruple the FPS it's supposed to be. <laughs> it upsets it as much. It's a plane. Hey, Casey, what is that thing? It's an airplane. The first test flight succeeded during EW1. Now research is going on all over the world. Whoa, so this is what one of those things looks like. Man, I want up in one. Oh, hello, Leon. Chris. Uka, uka. Hey, sorry, oh, really? you cool. got the day off. What are you hanging around here for? Wait, let me guess. You'll never Are forgive you me, I'm sorry for this airplane, Isara? Yes. There's still a ways to go before it's complete, but the basic construction is done. Yeah, there's no planes in this universe, at least not yet, anyway, not proper planes. So there's no military planes, really. Leave it to you, Isara. You learned all this on your own? Which would of course change how the war would have been fought, I would imagine, quite dramatically. I'm working from documents my father collected before his death. That's amazing. I'm so impressed. So where are you flying to once it's all done? Going on a trans gallian tour, maybe? Then again, I imagine, like, the war changes a bit anyway because there's, like, massive hooted like, super women that can shoot fucking blue laser beams. So, you know. First, I'd like to take my brother up in it. Once, when we were young, he and I were out bird watching when he mentioned it. That he wished he could fly like they did. That's my goal. I've been pursuing this project bit by bit in my free time. Woohoo! Oh, that's real sweet! 
Hey, sorry, can I ask you a favor? Please, let me help you build your airplane. What? What? Nani? I want to become an engineer of your caliber someday, Isara. I feel like watching you work would help me learn a great deal. Please, Isara. Chris is a good man. Oh, yeah, that's true. Hey, then can I help out too? Come on. So is Leon, to be fair. They're both, they're both bros. You don't mind? Of course not. I may not look bright, but I've been working my butt off in R&D for a while. Yeah, L London was like, like, various wars, like, bitch target for getting, like, bombed by various weird shit. Funny enough, the city that I work in um, got bombed the piss out of, and uh, a lot of the buildings today still have um, like shrapnel holes in them. They never, they never repaired them. If they, if they were structurally sound, they left them as like a reminder, which I always found quite interesting. Of course. Well, thank you both. All right. That's that's the emergency siren. What's happening at this hour? Let's ready the Edelweiss. I'm sure that whatever it is, it's urgent. Absolutely. I'll help you prep it. Spoilers, you can't use a tank on a car. It ends with a princess inside. It'll end in tears. Alright, so we're going to save... Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll save it here. Because it's cut uh, This mission can be a little bit spotty. We're probably going to take a few goes to get it quite right. There's a, there's a particular way of doing this. So. We have an emergency on our hands. Princess Cordelia has been kidnapped by Federation operatives. Well, every time I think of blimps and zeppelins, I always think of Archer. <laughs> where, he's in, where he's absolutely certain it's got flammable gas inside and the guy starts smoking. Oh my god, you want to kill us all? <laughs> Slaps the cigarette out of the guy's mouth. Idiot. The armored vehicle carrying the princess is heading for a port at the southern end of the combat area. Spread out your soldiers and stop the vehicle. Your objective is to disable the vehicle's engine and rescue Princess Cordelia. Use rifles and machine guns to strike the vehicle's weak point. It's a Ragnite engine. Yay. Explosive vehicles like tank cannons, lances, and grenades are off limits. You cannot grenade the princess. Letting the car reach either of these two points will mean their escape. Can't let that happen. Yes. We're also going to the Federation Special Forces have been sighted. They'll be protecting the vehicle. They may be wearing Galleon uniforms, so they're real feds. Don't think twice about pulling those triggers. It's a dark night out there. You won't, to stay, you won't get visuals on the enemies past and distance. Stay sharp. I believe they call this a diplomatic incident, normally, but you know. Right, we don't have many units, so we've got the uh, Edelweiss up here. I want to say we want to have... Uh, I have Rose here. You want to spread this out a little bit, I think. I think this should be okay. Your mission is to rescue Oh shit, I meant to put Largo in there. Failure the isn't an option on this one, soldiers. Oh well, should be okay. They can't get to the harbor. We stop them here. Squad seven, move out. Kidnapping a head of state is an act of war. Yeah, a little bit, isn't it? Yeah, just a smidge. Yeah, so that's the first time we see the Federation symbol. To the harbor, full that's the main steam. symbol in VC4 the that we, we're there obviously we're commanding. Galia. Apologies for the cramped quarters, your highness. We'll have you comfortable soon. <sighs> Lieutenant, it's likely the ambassador has the princess with him inside that armored vehicle. Use firearms to stop it with minimal force, then recover the princess. Tank shells, anti-tank lances, and grenades are off limits. You could harm the princess. Understood, Captain. Did you hear Steve Blum's voice? Almost certainly, yeah. It's got quite a big Notes. cast of known Even actors. Even if we can't attack with it, the Edelweiss can still block their path. Yeah, on a narrow road like this, there's no room to slip past a tank in your way. Sounds like a plan. Let's get the princess back safe. For the most part, I think we're just using a tank to stop them. <laughs> Yep, I need to. I needed to field Largo. That was really dumb. Uh, we'll see if this comes back to haunt, haunt us in a minute. Here we go. That's the armored vehicle. Welks, do you see the vehicle's headlights? You're right. We can use those lights to tell its position and orientation. Right. The 
dark. I can't see anything. Beep, beep. It's like the industrial district of Rangroos. It's just got enough time to point to park the uh, tank. So that's the way they wanted to come, so if we just park this here, they can't come this way now. I want to say we want to get... I'm trying to think where we want to be. That's the way they want to get out. They can't come this way, so they'll go this way. Like down here, probably. So, let's get see. ready to die, imps. Get ready to die, imps. There's no imps here, Jane, but we'll make do. I'm sure there's plenty of people we can kill. Fire, burn the people. This one's gonna be a little bit weird. I'm gonna have to. It's again, take me a few goes probably to get where we want it to, where we want it to be. I'll probably literally park it here for now. For this turn, so, so I'm gonna need some saves, some points. All right, let's save this down here. Leaving shrapnel in buildings also meant leaving anything the shrapnel was covered with. Oh yeah, that's actually kind of interesting. Yeah, didn't consider that. What are you doing? Don't stop. Go, go. Golly and tank sighted ahead, sir. It's blocking the road completely. Clever little monkeys. Very well. We'll take another route. That tank. That's a militia model. Vroom vroom vroom. I wouldn't do that if I were you, dude. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? What? Well, kid, are you asleep? Underminer fire. They're going for my treads. This should be okay for them. Minor damage sustained. I want to say we want to get the. I think that I think it's here, so we force it down one more. My turn, check. okay? Yeah, it's down here. Okay. So what we're gonna do then is slip by and deal with. I want to say deal with the lancer is probably most sensible. Enemy sighted. Shat on. Right. Entering combat. Bad luck, fuckers. Meep meep. Eat shit. Don't ever stand next to tank, everybody. Meep meep. Alright, onwards. It's too dark. I can't see anything. Right. Ooh, is that enough? That's probably. I want to say that's probably enough. Find out, I guess. Just try to stop me. Just try it, imps. Okay, I want Jane in a very particular place, which I believe is around here-ish. Get ready to die, imps. Get ready to die, imps. This might be a bad place actually, because the the car does have does have bullets on it. We'll see, we'll see. We might be okay. Uh, right. What do I want to do here? Moving out. Now. Execute you with impunity. Hm. I'm impressed, but not surprised. We can use this scoot to get. Oh, Armored vehicle sighted. That. <sighs> Blocked in again. They're testing my patience. I find the feds, man. Yeah. Incoming relay, sir. The tank in our way has been identified as Militia Squad 7. Yeah, fucking Squad 7. Represent. 
ones who attended the banquet. Just our luck to be spotted by glory hounds. Glory hounds? You stole our princess! That officer from the banquet? You stole the princess, bro! That's not being a glory hound! Right, perfect. We should... Yeah, we should be good now. Alright. Mr. Ambassador, Allied units have reached their station, sir. <laughs> you don't get to be my age without learning to plan for contingencies. I should have enough. Damn. They had backup waiting in the wing. That's fine. Keep an eye on enemy positions when moving, Seven. I'm hoping I got enough points. My big worry is I haven't got enough points. Because I didn't bring Largo. I, got, I should have six. I might need two to move. I'm going to save here and see how we got. This could be a little bit spoiled, but... We shall see. I might need to do a defense order as well. I, need, order. I might need two to get up there, three and then Brace one. Up and get ready to so it's going to be tight. It's going to be tight. Just try to stop me. What do you What do you mean? Sorry, we're talking. Fresh meat found. Now attack the vehicle. I probably didn't need. Uh, probably didn't need action. Okay, so we can do this here. So we can go orders. Demolition boost. Whoa, ah, ah, this ah, is an order. Ah, 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 Destroying ah, ah, the target is your top priority. Get ready to die. I'm impressed, but not surprised. Oh, I guess that, what that means is I, I, I expected them to do something like this, and it impressed me. Like it, it's kind of like they, they. I expected they would pull a plan, but the way they did it still like impressed me. Jane gives zero fucks, and that is why I got that order. Operation complete. Let's get her highness out of there. That should be a rank. Bam. Sorted, mate. I still got it. I still remember these things. More or less. Your highness, are you alright? I am unharmed. Oh, good. Phew. Being princess ain't all fancy dinners, huh? Gotta be hard carrying a whole country. Demolition boost short troops is out to light. Yeah, yeah. You can, I think, if I remember right, you can actually use Rosie um, and just shoot a tank, not, not even in the engine with that, and you can eventually, you can get it down pretty quick. It's, it's pretty scary. Can it, Rosie? That's the Princess of Gallia you're talking to. No, it's quite all right. She speaks the truth. Man, they are ex all extremely lucky that Cordelia is mega chill about literally everything. As scion of the Valkyrer, it is my fate to live and die for Gallia's well-being. Welcome to having none of that bullshit. Are you sure that isn't just your excuse, Your Highness? What? What? Nani? If you label the status quo fate, you can run from the responsibility of changing it. You too, Welkin. Have a little respect. <laughs> Largo's worried that all gonna end up in like the fucking hangman's noose at this point. He's like, guys, for fuck's sake. Every living thing in this world struggles to live and pass life on to a new generation. They use all the instincts and animal wisdom they can to the gulag with him, literally. That right? One day longer. That powerful animal will to live is. I think it's a beautiful part of nature. Oh, I think it does, but I think I think they're just extremely lucky the princess one is probably extremely appreciative of being rescued and two is quite relaxed. <sighs> and she's also quite young. Like I think she's supposed to be like 14, 15. So she's, you know, probably relatively impressionable by suave suave men coming in with good ideals about how, you know, you don't always have to suffer. She's probably quite impressed. Your Highness may be descended from Valkyra, and that may carry a burden. The old ways and traditions you follow may be important to uphold. I mean, in all fairness, Wel Welkin is completely correct as well here, which probably helps too. But I hope that you won't throw away the will to live your own life because of them. That's enough, Welkin. Give it a rest. <laughs> Give it a rest, we're all gonna get shot. 
Perhaps it is as you say, and I have been running from responsibility unknowingly. It is indeed mine to consider my life's role within the Valkyrian bloodline. Y your Highness. I am most Lager's, Lager's sweating so much, you probably just lost like two stone. So <laughs> it's like, oh, oh god, somebody get me out of this situation, this is a nightmare. Po Lager and Captain Verrat are both like having, probably having like heart palpitations at this point. Like the idea that Captain Verrat is probably sprinting over here to like try and get Welkin to shut the fuck up. <laughs> but time enough remains to consider my role by my own will. VC2 is a very different game. VC3 is also a very different game, but in a cool way. VC4 is more like this one. Thank you for your words, Lieutenant. The biggest change for VC2 and 3 is that because on the PSP, you can't have one main battle area. You have to run from, like, battle area A to battle area B to battle area C. It, like, it splits the maps up because of the memory limitations, which kind of made it not quite as cool. And, of course... Not it's, at all. The PSP doesn't have double analog sticks, so it's a fucking pain in the ass to control. Oh, this is the Princess Hungry. Uh, wow, even a princess's gut will wake up and say hi when it's empty. I... I am. <laughs> Don't embarrass the princess! We're gonna get shot! Rumbling bellies are a clever bit of animal wisdom all humans share. Alicia, have we got anything to eat? You bet! I brought some of the cinnamon rolls I baked this morning. Lager's getting hey, dehydrated. Nice. Yeah, he's just over there like a skeleton, like. <laughs> Thank you kindly. I want some cinnamon rolls. That sounds really nice. Yeah, where where is she keeping those? I have those? not had such bread before, but it is quite agreeable. <laughs> I'm glad. I like the princess. All She's right. Fun. Let's get her highness back to the capital. I think we get a medal for this too. I mean, I guess you, I, I imagine you do get a medal for foiling a fucking um, kidnapping attempt on a princess, right? I guess that is probably medal worthy. I think you, I think you get, a, that's like a freebie, I guess. Look at the reflective floor. And so floor. Princess Cordelia returned, safe through the efforts of Militia Squad 7. Its leader, Welkin Gunther, was celebrated as rescuer to the nation's sovereign and awarded the prestigious Gallian Medal of Honor. Woohoo! Lieutenant Welkin Gunther, step forward. They didn't know anything about Borg yet, they did, I guess. Sir! I love the echo. Like, there's some really nice details in this they didn't have to do that I find always super cool every time. The echo in the audience chamber, the echo in the um, Valkyrian ruins. It's just like, you know. For excellence in valor and deed, you are hereby awarded this honor. Oh, the ambassador dude. You can't kill an ambassador of an enemy na nation, even if they've done some gribble. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that's frowned upon. Your Highness, please bestow the medal. I think that I think the Federation will have a lot of groveling to do. Or alternatively, the Federation might go, actually that guy, what they almost I'd say almost certainly would do. Is they say the ambassador acted upon his own free will and nothing to do with us. You can do with him as you please. They would almost certainly just cut blanche, like just go, nope. It, whatever he did, that's that's no. We're we're not harming relations between our countries. That is absolutely not what we're doing. You do what you need to do with him. That's almost certainly what happened. This guy's hair is awful. I agree, swinging by. Oh, the <laughs> nine death blows. I'm actually amazed you survived all that. Gladly. Congratulations, Lieutenant Gunther. Thank you, Your Highness. Though I have yet to reach an answer, your question drives this is where, me still. This is where Varot and uh, Largo start sweating again. Oh fuck, she remembered the question. Oh no, Borg knows he started talking shit. To understand my responsibility as sovereign and as a single human life. It depends. If you... Like, for example, if an ambassador was try tried to nick one of our, like, um, I don't know, for, what's the equivalent, I guess? I, g I guess the royal family? No, because they got no political power. Uh, I, I guess, uh, I guess the prime minister or someone similar. Like, if someone, they tried to kidnap them, 
like, if one of our allies did that, they would almost certainly hand them over if they got caught. They'd be like, you fucking... They, into the towel with them, like... Like, this is absolutely nothing to do with us, and we wouldn't risk it. No chance. Your Highness. That, that would be massive binage. Like, top-tier binage. Oh, and know that one tradition already lies sundered by my will. I had the cooks add cinnamon rolls to my daily breakfast. Oh, nice! Alicia will be happy to hear it. Lieutenant Gunther, you forget yourself. Sir, my apologies. With this, today's ceremonies are ended. Sweating increases. <laughs> Highness, would you grace us with a word? Diplomatic immunity can be revoked, but it tends to be a diplomatic instant doing so. Because the idea being, if the, a country pulls diplomatic immunity from an ambassador, they could do it to any of them at any times. In which case, the uh, original country might get a bit wary about having ambassadors in the first place. It... And that you'd also worry that your ambassadors in other countries could have their immunity pulled. So you you don't you, you it's very rare that kind of stuff happens. Normally it's a case that an individual gets binned more than anything major. Though you could do what like Britain did with Russia quite a few years ago, which is we just went, eat shit and fuck off a lot of you, bunch of cunts. And Russia was like, How dare you kick our people out? We'll kick your people out. We're like, fuck off, pricks, get out of here. <laughs> and that was like that was like six, seven years ago. Like, get out of it. They're like, oh, you can't do this to us. Fuck off. Like, we were kicking Ruskies out before it was cool, man. Like, I fuck off. Allegiance to Galia stands firm evermore. Yes, princess. Thanks for the medal. Lieutenant Gunther, I am sorry. There is something more I have not told you. I shit in your hat before you put it on. Please, be safe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure kidnapping, especially regenapping, <laughs> is probably a very big no-no. Welkin, I'm coming in. I thought you'd never ask. Sure, it's open. Ugh. Ooh, is that it? Not bad, man. You sure made a name for yourself this time. Why did we kick them out? It was, it was one of the, like, myriad of incidents where they were poisoning fuckers, like, on our territory. Like, I think it was the first time they were doing that, and we, we were like, yeah, you cunts gotta knock that off. And they were like, eat shit, Britain, you can't tell us what to do. And we were like, fine, fuck off then, pricks. Things have been a smidge frosty between Britain and Russia since then, which is like in about seven, eight years ago, I think. Which is why it's so funny, they keep doing, uh, it, you see it in the news, and like, uh, they keep going like, Britain's always so antagonistic to Russia, they're like Russiaphobes, or like, and it's like, bros, you keep killing people here, and innocent people get caught in the crossfire, like, yeah, we don't like you. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna try and fucking fuck you up, like, duh, what were you expecting? We got a personal. We got a personal fucking stake in this. We put. Oh, we blew up the gas pipes. Yeah, that was so funny. Like Britain blew up gas pipes. We're like, why would we do that? That doesn't make any sense. Did you think about this for more than two minutes before just saying it? Oh dear. They live in their own reality. Yeah. The first time it was back in the nineties. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, there was loads of instances, but I mean, the most recent. I mean, like, the first time we were kicking ambassadors out en masse, which was, like, a, like a half a decade ago or whatever. It was pure luck I was there. So have you seen the headlines? The ones that say nothing about the kidnapping? Well, yeah, dude. They're not going to mention the kidnapping of the princess, are they? That reporter tells me Borg's the one pressuring the media into suppressing it. Well, of course, because otherwise it makes a fucking international incident between the two countries, like, which would show weakness, which would mean the Empire would capitalize on it. Faldio, you're being ridiculous on this one. Like, there's freedom of the press, but there's also, like, wartime press restraint, where you have to not give away vital information publicly to avoid your enemy taking advantage. Like, this is, this is not, a, this is not the deal you think it is, Faldio. But why suppress it? If word got out about what happened, Galia's relationship with the Federation would suffer. You're right, and that would be really bad, because the Empire is huge. <laughs> We've got our hands full fending off the Empire. 
We can't afford a war on two fronts. No, the Federation wouldn't invade over that, but like, you want you want the implication that the Federation will back you, because that means that in theory, eventually the Empire might relinquish, or might, like, have different plans. So he has the whole thing covered up. I'll bet he goes on acting like it never happened. Yeah, that, that's what the Ukrainians are actually starting to, like, basically stop teaching Russian in school, I think, Pumpkin is what I saw a headline on the other day. I can totally see why. Wow. Welcome, this hurts. It's painfully obvious how shaky Gallia's standing is. Well, of course. You're a tiny little country surrounded by two massive empires. It's, it's a bad place to be. I know the world's history is an endless chain of big fish eating little fish. Both of us know the weak bow to the strong. It's history and it's nature. Did the parallels between what... Hor horribly, the parallels between what's happening in this game to what's happening currently in the world is actually... Barring the big-titted anime superwomen, is is surprisingly apt. Like, you've got a massive country who's invaded for basically no fucking good reason, because they're pricks, into a smaller country that is being helped by the rest of the world, but not directly, but indirectly, trying pushing them back, and they are on a defensive advantage, but not initially at first. It's really quite like... Uh, Latvia's awesome, Pumpkin. You've got a fucking amazing country, and, like, your capital is beautiful as well. Stunning place. And the things that Latvia have been saying in the news against Russia have been incredibly funny. A minor nation like ours is an easy mark. It's not just Even me, right, Arth. It is pretty spooky how, like, army. what's happened. I mean, I know this is basically... Like, thing is, Galia is essentially Poland, more or less. But it kind of makes it makes a stand in for other places too. Like it's it's that it's a it's a country that is within rock throwing distance of a very big scary enemy that in theory shouldn't have invaded them, but has done. Yeah, it's it's a it's a weird one. Welkin, no offense, but I hope nature's wrong this time. I don't know what to tell you, Faldio. And you already know we win because it says at the very start of the game, right? Like th there is memoirs from this journalist Chapter talking about how we win. Liberation of Thousand. But the but the interesting thing is more or less um, how we win, of course, but also how the Empire makes mistakes. And again, the parallels are kind of spooky. I won't obviously get into them because I don't want to spoil the game, but you'll kind of see as we go along. It's, it's a little bit weird. Yay, we got we got decorations now, so we can actually choose to give people that now. <sighs> so we can actually what we do now, we do this for ten billion years, by the way. So we get a headquarters. This chapter's rough, by the way. Um, oh, I wouldn't normally say this. Like, there are some stuff in this. The, it's not particularly a cheery game anyway. How but this particular chapter is deeply unpleasant, as a fair warning. They have... Yeah, Ragdite is basically a, a XP for oil in this. More or less, isn't it? It's magical oil. But, you know, oil nonetheless. But actually, it could be... Uh, Ragdite could be oil slash, plut like, plutonium. Or like other other high grade materials. I thank you again for the valor you showed in assisting me that night. Not at all. I was just relieved to see you were unharmed, Highness. Alright, Nodem. It wasn't until I saw my friends gawk at that metal that I realized how special it was. <laughs> You truly are a rare individual. I mean, rescuing the princess and able to make her laugh and generally being quite friendly on terms of the princess, it's not a bad place to be in a, in, you know, a country that's sort of controlled initially by the, by the royalty. I mean, I'd say Welkin's probably going to have a pretty, pretty okay existence after the war. <laughs> probably gets invited to some nice parties, you know, gets a Christmas card from the princess every year, or the queen, maybe when she becomes, I don't, I don't know how it works, but you know. It is the duty of a nation to acknowledge and reward the loyal deeds of its people. What's the one in this chapter? This, this chapter is... For lack of a better term, this chapter is Auschwitz. Is, is, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This chapter is basically Auschwitz. Metals and so, trinkets you know, are warning. the only form we have. But we ask that you wear them proudly. Yes, ma'am. And thank you, Your Highness. 
I hear your accomplishments do not end with that knight's bravery either. I just don't want people to be like shocked that it suddenly gets very, very unpleasant because it is quite, it is quite a cutesy-looking game at times, but it does it does really cover some heavy heavy material. So you know. The stories of your accomplishments suggest I owe you We might not get to it tonight. We, we might also. Lieutenant Welkin Gunther, step forward. In honor oh, of your she looks nice when she smiles. Look at that. She, she really has a nice money face. Wow, that sounded really patronizing. I'm sorry, Princess. Don't Please don't throw me in the stockades. That sounded awful. Highness, it's an honor. Yeah, anime games are sure he's loved in that. They do, actually. I mean, look at Nier as well. Nier's got a lot of heavy stuff in it. Heavy stuff and big-titted saying women. Yeah, it is a bit of a strange mix at times. So we get lots of medals. We can give these medals to people and they give them stats, which is really nice. And we can dish out these medals as we see fit. May your allegiance to Galia stand firm evermore. There's a, I think there's a medal you can only get if someone actually dies as well, but since we no one ever dies in that runs because we're too cool. Uh, let's go to the wall cemetery in case the really good ones there. Hello. Okay, he's got nothing yet. Okay. There's a particular order I might want of him later, so I'm just keeping an eye out. Right. Uh, first of all, is Vice here? Is Vice here? Oh. No, see. Ah. Oh. No, see's really cool, actually. We should maybe just get No, see that. Oh, my boy. My boy's come home. It's time. Uh, who do we want for a bit? Uh, I like. I do like Hannes, but. Thanks for everything, Mr. Gunther, sir. Call me if I can help. You can, sir. You can. The name's Vice Engelbard. Let's go kick this war in the teeth. Yes, our boy Vice. Fucking nice. Do I want any... I got Ramona and Nancy. I'm actually going to retire Nancy in a minute. It was so great working with you. I had a total blast. Thank you, Nancy. We're going to get uh, Nosey in. I'm Nochi Wordsworth. Hi. Oh, I did. He's a good man. All right. Uh, oh, Catherine's fun. Catherine's a fun sniper. But I think we're good. Come back anytime you need to change your lineup, Lieutenant. Yeah, some of the prices of ammo against me redonkulous. Yeah. I fired Nancy. No, I've let Nancy. I've let Nancy chill for a bit. She'll be back. It's fine. Welcome to your worst nightmare, maggots! I'm kind of surprised they didn't have a, um, a rotate, like, rotate them around sort of thing. Uh, like, you have to rotate your squad. Good work! I need, I need to do this particular now. So we're going to do this in order now. Okay! All units attack. Oh, that's a good one. There we go. Right. Elite shock troopers now. Good work, maggots! You're one level closer to human. Looks like this you should be the new potential out of the shock troopers. Yeah. Congratulations, shock troopers! As of today, you are elites! Good stuff. That means clearance for flamethrowers! Yay! War crimes. Right. Next we'll do lancers. And then I'm gonna get engineer up one. So we can get lancers up to eleven so far. The lancer one's not as important, but the additional We probably don't need it actually now, realistically, but the big the biggest the biggest win for um, the lancers is gonna be the AP. So eventually we want everyone to at least level eleven because it gets them much more AP, which is super important. Okay. All units defend, which is not amazing, but come back anytime you're ready to switch. Yeah, actually, all units defend can be really good if we're doing more stupid runs of multiple characters. Right. Welkin, bro, I'm stoked you're here, man. Elite snipers are more accurate. Yes. But it's mostly the weapons that make the huge difference. Most of the weapons. There we go. We've gone from aim C to aim B. That's that's actually huge, by the way. Absolutely huge. Um, really, really big change. So, 
again, as, as you can notice, the guns do change every single time. They are getting burlier, which is, again, really cool. Right. Uh, we've got nothing there yet. Blue. Lance has nothing. The snoofer's got nothing yet. So we've now got flamethrowers, so we're actually going to do a uh, firepower boost. Added effect is interesting because it removes HP, but we use, if we use flamethrowers, we're using them for clearing anyway, like sandbags, so the more damage the better. Remember, it's never war crime the first time. Oof, yeah, Jesus. That is an intimidating joke, good lord. Alright, we'll get the we'll get Idlevice in. Do I have my big upgrade yet? I got the steel upgrade and the barrel, which we'll do. This is the big one here, I think. It's this here, because it gets us the AP one, but. I don't really care about any of these massively, so. Because we don't really use the tank. Oh, it doesn't Come back again! But what we do want is the tank to be able to move farther, which is more important. So. Oh, wait, I need to give people. I need to give people medals. Don't I do it from here? Forgotten how to do the medals. Doofus. Did the grenade go to affect the grenade rifle? I'm pretty sure it might be on the personnel tab, perhaps. I have completely forgotten how the fuck we do that. That's gonna really annoy me. I'll look this up later. I thought it was on the other the other thing, but I keep it on. Ah, decorations. Is it on this one? No. Oh, am I thinking of the second game? Maybe. Maybe I'm thinking of the second game. Or the fourth game, maybe. Oh, I don't remember. Anyway, uh, episode select. Let's go back. Right here we go. We gotta deal with the big scary armored train in the upcoming missions as well, which could be rough. We've been given orders for our next mission. The militia's taking back the city of Fausen. Fausen's that big industrial city with all those ragnite mines, right? Yes. If we manage to reclaim it, it'll be a shot in the arm to Gallia's productivity. Sounds good. So what's the plan, boss? The militia will break up into squads and set up a perimeter around the city. Once that's set, Squad 7 takes the point. Here, look at this. Eek. An armored rail vehicle? Right. They installed it to defend their hold on the city. Now our mission is to destroy it. This thing's pretty scary, yeah, okay, by the way. so we destroy Nasty it. Thing. Any idea how we take on a beast like that? Gonna take a lot more than a pack of soldiers marching at it to do that, boss. Don't worry. We've got some hefty support on this one. Is it Salvaria? <laughs> that was a breast joke, I'm sorry. Support? Like who? You know that Darksons from Empire-held areas have been brought there, right? I've heard stories, yes. That they're being used as forced labor in the Ragnite mines and weapons factories. The Great Gustav? I'm not sure. According to Captain Varat, one of the men in the camps is acting as our agent. Here I get my hopes up, and it's just some dark hair. Got any more great news? What do you mean by that? She means exactly what she said, because she's a big fucking racist. Hmm. I'm just saying, I hope this guy's not as stubborn as someone else we know. Please stop judging people solely by your preconceptions. All Darksons are different. Yeah, shut the fuck up, Rosie. Sure could have fooled me. I couldn't tell you dark hair's apart if I tried. 
I don't believe you have ever really tried, Rosie. Man, Isara just should have punched her in the face for that one. No, you just didn't. Uh, just drop it already. We're soldiers. We'll do our best out there. If the orders say work with the Darkson, we do. That said, I ain't making any promises if this guy turns out to be useless. Here. Well, we can't know for sure until we meet him, but the mission hinges on him. We begin the march on I kind of feel that Welkin should have pulled rank here and told Rosie to shut the fuck up, but... Alright, here we see the not-Nazi the not -Nazi guy. Oh, this stench is unbearable. Please, some food, sir. Even water would... Keep your distance. Presumptuous, dark-haired, filthy. Where is the one responsible for this hovel? You rang? Zach is that, man. I hear a worker in Sector D has been disobeying his work orders. Would you care to explain this infraction? He's not disobeying you. He's been sick as a dog for a couple of days now. Folks from other camps working D-Sector have gotten sick lately too. One's in a coma. That's where they handle Ragnite refinery. Sure the toxic Basically, radiation is being handled I'm right? Is the idea. Yeah, this man's very, he's got a very sour mouth. It's because he's a Nazi scumbag. <laughs> That's no concern of yours or mine. You animals need only be silent and obey. I think you can kind of see where I was going with like what I was saying earlier, right? With how this is playing out. Let's think of it this way. You drive them to death and the work stops getting done. That doesn't help you much, eh? Hmm. <laughs> I'll let you know as soon as he can work. Think you could let him rest for now? <laughs> Very well. Have him return to work the minute he's able. And remember... No one would miss the likes of a few of you maggots. Yeah. All right. I don't know if we'll get the entire mission done, but we'll we'll try. We'll see how far we get. Here is your mission brief. So this is quite an important hold for the Empire as well. Not only do they have the Ragnite, of course, but more important, like a big important part for them as well, is the. Um, uh, the location of it. Like, it's on the sort of far side of the country, which is quite a difficult place to hold, so they, they keep that. They've got this massive supply advantage. You'll strike from the south and bust your way into Falzon as quickly as you can. That's what the plan. I, I want to say this actually where we, we do actually move the idle vice up a little bit. Falzon's built along a canyon. So the lay of the land is highly varied. Check your map carefully. Your objective is to reach the destination point. Now, contact on the inside won't be able to do much without you there. Find him at the labor camp as soon as you're in. Inside the city, you'll find searchlights on the watch and trolley cars you can ride along the rails. If those lights spot you, expect mortars or sniper bullets to start raining down. Tread carefully. The dankness is your best friend out there, but it'll be limited visibility to keep your eyes peeled. Alright. So then, as always, we're going to want Alicia. Uh, we're going to want Rosie up front too. Again, a lot of this is going to base on... Uh, some good work on our scout parts. But we do actually want some... We do want some uh, troopers in here too. I'm gonna bring... I'm gonna bring Carl at the back in case we need him. We've got Largo. And a couple more scouts might... I've got two shockies. Okay, that should be fine. Ted! And no tube. Alright. Let's see. If there are no questions, let's get started. I wish you good luck and happy hunting. Yeah, let's Ooh. fucking shoot these pricks. Six hundred viewers, hey, Lamel. Our top priority is to get to the rendezvous point. Squad seven, move out. Man, the music in this game is so good as well. Well, this is Fausen. Looks like a complicated layout. That it is. Let's move carefully here. We don't want to be spotted. Yeah, this is quite a tricky one. It's going to require a little bit of uh, trial and error here, probably. So we're going to quickly save this. Oh, down the bottom. 
So first things first, we're gonna move. Marching, Alicia up. Okay. Come on, pull it together. I forget. I I want to say we actually get more. Um, the labor camp is up ahead. I want to say we get more like actual that. physical armor on the armor when we get to a certain point. Lieutenant Gunther, you may be able to move unseen using the trolley cars around town. A trolley area. Their path is fixed, and they can only fit one person, but they may get you behind the enemy. Yeah, we can do exactly that. So we can take the trolleys and it'll show you where we pop up. Beep beep. Enemy sighted. So there's a snoofer up here. We're gonna expunge. So there's a, it puts on the sort of upper area of this place, which is really useful. There's mines here, but there's also a few baddies. So we're gonna scoot on the side. Give it all you've got, soldiers. Enemy sighted. All right, we got a another snoofer. You need somebody to basically remove these snoofers, otherwise you have a terrible time. That's not a very dignified angle, Alicia. Enemy unit spotted. Right, so we've got three snoofers here. And then they, they can actually meet back around here as well. So, next plan then. I actually forget if we want to bring the idle vice here. I, I think we probably don't. But I swear there was a reason we want to move it, and I'm trying to remember. Right, so we've got Shocky there. I'm going to take Rosie up a bit as well and see what we can do. As you can see, Rosie's got more uh, AP now, which is incredibly useful. New target sighted. Yeah, the scouts have a really bad time. The guns sound different now as well. Good work. Keep it up. Look at it's got the flamethrower on the bottom. Whoosh, for roast and fools. You can't dodge a flamethrower either. So flamethrowers are actually really good at removing um I'm on. Uh, aces and other twice. I will show you. Oh interesting, it says it won't come. It should do, but Here I come! Good work. Keep it up. Of course, what we can't really afford to happen is have the snoofers get us from here. So we need Alicia to run Martin, on the back okay? and expunge the snipers from existence. Yeah. Executed. Enemy surprised. unit spotted. Enemy sighted. Come in, come in. So if I park Alicia here-ish, we can remove all these three. Then. Moving out. Get rid of this one. Ace another twat. Sounds like a cook. It does actually, doesn't it? Yeah. Good work. Keep it up. As sad as it is, Rosie's our best. Uh, one of our best shot troopers at the moment. Turn, okay. Right, here we go, and that's removed all these snoofers. Now! It's really important to get rid of these guys early. Hmm. I think nice we might work. be right on that one, Critico. Right, here we go. We should be okay from Those here. Poor people. Be okay. Right, now we need to get some of our additional troops around, so. Let's get, uh, let's get Ica. No problem, boss. Is that boy voice? Right. Somebody go swat those flies down. Those poor people will be there to help soon. Disgusting. Perfect. Men only want one Just thing, and it's scouts who can hit the fucking target. Disgusting. Right. Uh, we also want to take. Uh, I'm guessing we want to take Nochi. Ready for action. All right, let's go. Let's go, dude. Iker is amazing. Bang bang, baby. He is full of smog. Oh, 
where it was parked, so we can actually do a bit of backup if we need to. Can't wait if anyone does actually come for us here. I want to say there's a tank up ahead somewhere. Uh, right, where else do we want to be? I could spend two points to get our boy Vice around here, but we possibly don't need don't need it at the moment. Alicia's fine. I'll leave Ted here as backup. Largo can stay here. I'll take care of it. Today's the wrong day to mess with me. Oh, super damage. Vice is so fucking good, by the way. Like he is ridiculously good. You have a visual on the Leave it all to Do me. the fun thing and move the tank. As much as I want to, the tank just isn't worth it most of the time. In the set in the fourth game, this this game sequel if you like, it's absolutely worth it. But not in this one. It's just, it's too expensive. Two points, it's just too too pricey. Yeah, I thought so. so we, we can talk. Alright, so we're going to save it. Quickly. I think this is quite a generous um, A rank on this one as well. So we actually need to see what we're doing. So we're actually going to do something disgusting, by the way, and use a scout for scouting. Enemy unit spotted. So we've Take got command, move out. There's anti-tank mines on the bridge. What's your situation? Enemy <laughs> unit spotted. So we've got a light tank over there. Did I get caught by a light? Down. You'll only panic. Don't look down. All units, check your current position. It's like this place is in a cave or something. Alright, uh, let's see. It's probably useful to keep it here for now. The tank isn't useful the tank isn't useless on a casual playthrough. It's just it's kind of not great for what we're doing. I'm on! Get those searchlights on you, you'll be dodging mortars. Avoid the lights at all costs. If they find you, take evasive action immediately. Enemy sighted. I reckon, can we dacker from here? Mm, too far, probably. We got two, do we? That's fine. No problem, boss. We're mostly gonna have like a little. Ah, Rosie got caught. That's fine. How much experience do you miss up by playing casually? The yeah, cap is up ahead. it's it's huge amounts. Continue your advance. But yeah, you can do these skirmishes as many times as you want. We're just getting warmed up. Oh, I can wait. So fucking good. Would you, would you believe they nerfed scouts after this game? Would you believe? Would you believe that? I, I can't believe that personally, but you know, it's a, it did happen. A <laughs> chew. Try to stay sharp. Let's all get back home alive. Right. You can grind. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, engineers are actually really good. Yeah, engineers are really good. So what we want to do is get uh, Rosie in a position to demolish this tank and get behind. It's actually not too bad once we get over past this. It's not far to go, but we can't really scout rush past. Well, we could. We could scout rush past, but it's a bit risky. I kind of want to do it slightly differently. So what I'm going to do now is take... Ready for action. We're going to take our boy Noji. Is Noji Darkson? I think, I think he is, actually. Have you sighted them yet? Four rebalanced everything really well. Really, really well. Maintain your lines. Once again, we can... The nice thing about this is that scouts used effectively can deal with shock troopers, and I've always liked that. Always reminds me of, like, Command and Conquer, you know, like... Did you see that? You want to... Like, fla like flamethrowers are lethal to infantry, but if you actually use your infantry carefully, you can't deal with them. And I, I, that's kind of what I feel like with this. 
You just you just play carefully. You can, you can do this. Okay, so we've actually got our scoots in a good place here. Right, we're gonna bring Rosie a bit closer. I don't want to do anything with Rosie this turn. I'm actually gonna get Rosie here-ish. I think. Want her in place, but not close enough to get shot. Easy, Ma. I'm coming home alive. Okay, we should be Gucci here, I think. Right, now we just got to consider what we're going to do. And um, we probably want to save some points as well for the inevitable murder we're going to do. I'll leave Vice here. I'm going to save this now, here. Because what happens next turn is going to make a big change in how we play. So, Alright, I'm going to save these five points and use them for next turn. Okay, they decided not to move. Cool. Lord. Okay, so what we're going to do here is all units defend. Because this is really friggin' handy. Uh, this is an order! All of you, focus on defense! So those five points we saved last turn, we're going to use this turn to a fucking obliterate that tank. This is an order! Destroying the target is your top priority! Let's do this thing! Because Elite Shock Troopers can move so much farther and faster than the, uh... Equivalent. Ain't no stopping me! We need to go around that searchlight preferably. I wouldn't advise looking down. You'll lose your nerve. Oh, I couldn't quite make it. Couldn't quite make it. It's fine, we're gonna make it next time. I'm on! Eat shit, tank. Enemy unit neutralized. Enemy sighted. Enemy sighted. Right. What we got here? Three. Okay. We don't actually need to go into that camp if we don't want to. No problem, boss. No problem, boss. The amazing Ico. All right, Logan. Enemy spotted. So, what is it? What is that? A lancer? I don't give a fuck about a lancer. You have a visual on the enemy. Enemy spotted. So we get that could probably make it with Ica, I think. I'll have to see. If I gave her an evade boost as well. This is an order! Watch the barrels of their guns! I think the most of things can be interesting, but it's very right, Here I go. I might not have enough gr gun to make it, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. Enemy spotted! Let's do. Move this way. Over. Perfect! Get her out of the tank line of fire. Keep it up. Yeah, we can easily make this. I'm gonna park here. So I think we only need to get uh, Ica in there, in which case, what we should do is save it, assuming I'm not being dumb, and get some kills, because fuck these pricks, am I right? I'm on. Ain't no stopping me. I don't think I can make it over there, but I can. Here I come. Oh, it wasn't enough to kill him. That's what it said. We got any? We got a scoot over there. Moving out. Very serious voice actor unit. Yeah, there's loads of like really bu bu burly voice actors and actresses. I wouldn't advise looking down. You'll lose your nerve. Open fire. Time to use the wrong grocer. Can't beat the smell of fresh soil. What up, fuckers? I think the damage down d did it uh, do us a dirty there.
Oswald the Iron. Yeah, I thought Oswald was in this one. He's in a, I think Oswald's in a bit of an awkward place to get to him, though. Potentially, we could actually go one, two, one, two. Eh, probably not. Probably not. Yeah, I can do that. I think you actually get three turns for this, eh? I want to say, but we we're doing two. I'm sorry, that sounded like fuck you, dude. Alicia, he's already dead. Did you see that? Damn right. Good work. Keep it up. All right, what else can we do for some fun murder, fun times? Could I spike kill this guy in the grass? War crime! Go down. Good work. Right, here I go. Oh no, is it what I thought it was? Is it what I thought it was? I wouldn't advise looking. Oh, fuck. You know I said I think I have to use the tank on this mission? I think I have to use the tank on this mission. I think you have to get the um, idle vice here. Ah, uh, so that's why. Okay, okay, now I know. That's fine. We're gonna do that tonight, but that, that explains that, so. So be this one. Okay. So we're gonna have to do this a bit differently. That's, we'll have a similar idea, but we're gonna have to obviously save two points every single turn to move the tank a couple of goes, probably, to get it to move. That's fine. So just make a fresh save on top. I had a horrible inkling it might have been the tank one, but that's fine. It was going too. It was too easy. It was going too easy. Like I said a minute ago, I was like, man, I know the A on this one's really generous if we're doing it in two turns, but nah, that is fine. So that's cool. As long as they die, uh, yeah. Well, no, he, he took him a few goes. <laughs> Alright. So next time, we'll be taking our tank through that mission and doing it that way. Very fine. Man, what, it's such a fun game to play. Really, really good. Very, very fine. And I, once we get to it, I, you guys, I think, will really, really enjoy uh, VC4. What was the problem? You need to move the tank. And that would have taken me another three or four turns, which would have given us a C rank, which would have been no good. You haven't, you haven't got to stealth the tank or anything, but like, um, so what you need to do on this particular mission then, we need to move the engineer up with us as well. Which isn't too bad, because what we got to do, we, ha we have to remove the, um, we absolutely have to remove the thing in front of the bridge. We can still use Rosie. We can still use the Rosie tactic of uh, eviscerating the tank if we want, because it's a nice, easy way of doing it. But as long as you don't leave the tank on the mortar, it's not particularly a big deal. Like, because it doesn't destroy the tank, but it, it can destroy the treads, which can be a problem. We'll try next time. Uh, honestly, it's really fun to do this. I like it. I was just going to do Illusion of Time or Illusion of Gaia tonight, but I decided to do VC in the end. Um, Right at the last minute. I do want to do I do want to do Illusion of Gaia soon. But uh, both should be hopefully very fun to do. Right, peeps. Uh, we shall raid. Uh, we should we raid tonight? Uh, let's raid Ollie. Doing some Dankus Dungeon since uh, swinging by was talking about Dankus Dungeon earlier. So, TY, for watching, thank you very much, hope you had a lovely night, and I'll see you all again, hopefully, very soon. So, good night, all. Take care.